Hello folks. My oh my, we are in for a treat today. Just only a few miles away from that Victorian city in West Virginia, Wheeling, that we explored yesterday lies, I would say, this interesting cultural exclave. Nestled deep within the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, there is this secluded community called the Hare Krishna. And this community is unlike anything I have seen. It doesn't feel like we're in America. We are in West Virginia, but this doesn't feel like the United States. This feels more like we're in India. This community follows a very interesting sect of Hinduism. They are devotees of the Hindu deity Krishna. That's why they're called Hare Krishna. And so decades ago, they brought their community right here in the middle of nowhere, basically. The closest town is just a very, very small town here in northern West Virginia. They are very isolated right here in the mountains. And for that, they are able to practice their beliefs and maintain their traditions and culture unobstructed from everywhere else. Yeah, that's right. I think this is unlike anything we've seen here on the coverage project. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have much of an itinerary. Today's gonna be just a day of, let's see what we can find here in New Vrindaban. What I've been told by other people, the Hare Krishna are very open, warm, and welcoming to tourists like us who want to see a part of their lives and where they live and their traditions. Oh, hold on. We are in the Peacock Sanctuary, and I'm just a few feet away from some peacocks. Oh my goodness. Colorful bodies and tails. This is probably the perfect season to witness these peacocks in action. I'm gonna to try to be very, very subtle. Oh my gosh, this place just screams peace and tranquility. <laughs> Was that a mating call or something? One thing I do want to point out and note before we go and explore is that we are entering their community. So I want to be respectful of who these people are and basically tread lightly. I still will want to see if we can talk to people but at the same time respect their independence, their privacy, to do what they want, of course. Obviously the ideal scenario is that we get to talk to these people and share a bit about information and culture, but I can't expect that. That's just the ideal goal, but I don't really know what to expect of this place. I think that's what adventuring is for here. Wow, that is just majestic. Beautiful sculptures. Now the name New Vrindaban comes from the Indian city of Vrindaban in the state of Uttar Pradesh in northern India. Supposedly, the city of Vrindaban in India is where the deity Krishna spent his childhood. Maybe that's why this place is named New Vrindaban because, I mean, they're the devotees to Krishna. You know, it's really nice that they're just letting peacocks roam about. This community makes you feel like you're connecting back with nature. Oh, okay. So that is why there are peacocks all around. There is an association between the peacocks and Krishna. This time. 
actually where God lives. So. And so he, this is, you know, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. A Prabhupada means one whose feet many masters will sit. They're all titles. Swami is a renounced door of life. That means he has, has taken vows to rid himself of home, of family, and live off completely the generosity of others. You don't have a bank account, and you literally travel around. Here's the Bhagavad Gita. This was a translated. That's Lord Jagannath. That's Baladev, and that's Subhadra. So I haven't really been able to really talk much because, well, there was a devotee who decided to uh, guide me along. So we went into the temple. Already I'm just astounded by how not only generous but just warm-hearted these people are. So that long buffet-style meal is called a prasadam, and they do that every day, both breakfast and lunch, where they have this whole meal set up. And the meal itself is dedicated to Krishna. Uh, that's just their doctrine. And so it's completely free. So people will, whether you're a devotee or not, they don't charge you for the food. And it's wonderful food. It tasted great. And it was traditional Indian food that was vegetarian because they don't eat meat here. It's not just people here who are devotees of Krishna who are of Indian descent. There's plenty of Westerners who have adopted this Hare Krishna doctrine and have become devotees themselves. Overall, through my day here, without an itinerary, it's just been marvelous. Uh, it's one of those hidden gems you cannot find a lot of the places in America. This is one of those rare places where it's just a different society. They don't charge you for food. They're very welcoming, friendly. This doesn't seem like America. Anyway, our next stop is going to be Prabhupada his palace of gold. I'll also be guided by the same person who guided me through that temple area, so I'm not sure if I can do much talking, but y'all are in for a treat. I don't know if I've been mispronouncing the name Vrindaban. Seems like people pronounce it Vrindaban, Vrindavan. It's definitely a bit more difficult to know the right pronunciation when it comes from a different language. It's not something you see every day. Oh, that is great. So peaceful and tranquil. It was completely built by people who are not professionals in any way. Oh, that's incredible. They were just built by devotees. Like, really. Quite remarkable. Yeah, they're restoring all this now. It's hard to think that we're in like West Virginia right now. Oh, I know. Petted by the orange too. Nice. Behind it here. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly been a long day here in New Vrindaban. New Vrindaban. I have no clue at this point, but it was a fun day here. This place is unlike anything. I have personally seen in my lifetime. And I've said this before, but I cannot understate how interesting it is that we are in West Virginia. This is not India. We are in America right now, yet it feels like a completely different country. But this is exactly what travel's all about. It's those new experiences that you can't really get otherwise being in the same place. So. Our day here 
in new Vrindaban has been awesome. <laughs> Let's just say that. I never, when I got here, thought that I would experience as much as we did today. So, it's just an exciting feeling all around. This is not the last of our march through the Midwest. We have maybe one or two places left to go. We're nearing the end, but we're not done marching just yet. I must say though, this is not the only place in the world that the Hare Krishnas dwell and live. There are communities that are scattered all around the country, and more importantly, all around the world. This is an international sect of the Hindu religion. However, I don't think anything would really compare in this large area of the United States as the community that's here in New Vrindavan. But wasn't it really interesting to just explore this very spiritual community, this exclave, in the middle of Appalachia country, in the middle of West Virginia? So with that said, I guess I'll bid you all adieu. Standing up, walking towards this beautiful pond. Tripped a little there, but that's all right. More travels to come. I will see you at the next location.